Hey everyone, in uh, this video I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at Daily Fantasy Nerd to, <clears throat> to kind of show you what you would get as a, as a paying member. So uh, here we are, here's the um, main screen once you logged in. I'm a member here, I'm the, uh, the uh, second level, I'm not sure what it's, what it's called. But, and here is your main navigation area. So we got Optimizer is the main tool that you're going to be using and it has the four different items underneath and then there's bankroll and I'm going to go through each one of these. Uh, the first one, I'm, let me show you is the optimizer and this tool really is pretty amazing. Right, I'm looking at the NFL here and here's where you get to choose. You can choose what sport you want, NFL, NBA, NHL, so I'm just going to stay with NFL. You can, and um, in the second the plan that I've got, it lets you pick two different uh, sites that you can use. So I've got FanDuel and DraftKings. If you use the highest uh, plan, then you would get all the all the sites. So it's very easy to create lineups. Um, here is all the information on all the games. If there's some games you don't want to include, say you don't want to play the uh, Monday night, the slate without with the Monday night, you can just exclude those teams or do this little exclude games and you can pick which games you want to exclude. Uh, here's where you can look at each of the different players. Um, you can, if you're looking at just high price, low priced guys, um, randomized lineups. This basically will give you more variation in lineups the higher the number you have. Um, you can stack a quarterback with a receiver or two receivers. You have no offense versus the defense. And here's your player. So say we're looking at quarterbacks. We're going to go down here. Um, and it's going to show all the like the quarterbacks and it's show all their the more vital stats. I'm going to go through some of this. If you don't know what they are, uh, there's a lot of, see, you can here, if you hover over it, it'll tell you what it is. Vegas projected spreads, DVP, defense first position, L3, last three games. So you can easily tell what the stuff is. My favorite feature actually is this right here, the likes. What likes do is when you're creating lineups and say I'm creating a lineup here and just here's all the quarterbacks and say this week I'm really liking Tyrod Taylor. I would click like on here. And I also like say Andy Dalton this week. Those are those are the two guys that the optimizer is going to give extra weight to. So when it when you run the lineups, these are, these are the guys it's going to focus on. It the main point of an optimizer is to take you like here this is the projected fantasy points and how many fantasy points can you get based on their salary and it's going to optimize it to give you the, the pop person the best lineups but when you create lineups with these likes it sort of increases the fantasy points but what i like about this is you can sort it and you can kind of see these are the likes by everyone all across everyone who is a user of daily fantasy nerd so this kind of will give you like who the chalk plays are. Like everyone's on Carson Wentz. I mean, it doesn't mean it's bad because he um, he could tear it up against uh, San, San Francisco. But you get to see all the players who everyone is, is high on. And maybe say like Cam Newton. Uh, I don't know how great he's gonna gonna do this week on the road at Tampa Bay. Um, and a lot of people are playing him, so you might want to fade him. And then you can even come down here and looking like Ben Roethlisberger. Nobody's playing him. Um, Matt Ryan, Deshaun Watson, nobody's playing these guys. So those could be good uh, plays that you might want to get in on, on a tournament. So that's probably my favorite feature. Then it's you got all the basic information here that you have, the spreads, the um, different um, stats, how many fantasy points like the average of the last three for the season and so on. Here's the projected points. Say... Um, you could even adjust this. Say, I think, let's see, Russell Wilson. I think he's going to really get more than 14, 14 points. I think he's going to maybe get 16 points. So then you can go in and just adjust that and, and change that number. And right down here is, see, so you can put 16. And then it'll give you, like, the value. See, now this is 2. This is basically the value, which is just the projected points divided by, by their salary, roughly. So you get all your players here, and you can go to each position, running back, uh, wide receiver, and you can do this for all the sports. You, you go and you pick all your players, 
you adjust their fantasy points you can uh um like the players that you want and you can change the sports next item is projections what's cool about this is you can upload your own projections i mean whether it's your own projections that you've created or projections that uh you get from some another site even from some other paid site here you can upload projections or you can apply weights to the projections which is pretty cool like say here like it's it defaults to the dfn the Dan daily fantasy nerd projection here but you can adjust it too like the season floor like i changed this before here to 50 percent towards the ceiling season floor 50 percent towards the nerds projection so that just means it's going to look more towards the floor players so like i'm doing this tour for a 50 50. so in 50 50s you want the guys with the high floors you don't want anyone to kind of screw up if you want ceiling a high ceiling then those are the ones for like your gpp your tournaments or maybe you want to look at the last five depends what what sport you're looking at if you want to adjust this say we had zero for the season but say you want a 0.5 for, for the ceiling instead do it instead of the floor then you can apply a weight to projections and now it's going to adjust update to projections so now Dak prescott's a lot higher so a lot of these guys who had high ceilings who had who can get you a ton of points in a game are going to be increased or you can upload projections and there's uh that's just not another great feature it's very easy to do lineups this is where you get your results of your lineups so what i'm going to do here i'm going to remove all the lineups yes now we're going to go back to the optimizer and this is the huge so we see we set all this up i'm going to build lineups there see where they take three seconds and you get 50 lineups and see look here remember we, hi we highlighted andy dalton so andy dalton came up here and then here's the rest of your team what you can do you can go through these and say uh okay oh i like this one i'm gonna save this one uh this is, no not that one okay i like this one I like this one and I like this one so those say those are all the lineups you can I mean you can save all the lineups if you want but say I see those are just the ones I like now you go back to lineups and here here's your four lineups here's all the breakout which this is pretty amazing like look Andy Dalton's in all four of the lineups um, here's these guys crab cheese in 75% um, you got Kenny Stills in one lineup and it gives you the complete breakout of everything on here. So there's just tons of features. Um, I didn't even mention on, on the optimizer, like you can lock players in. Like here, there's lock. So if you want them in every lineup, it's E for exclude, if you want to exclude them. So the I, I feel it's uh, great uh, features and it goes really fast. The uh, last item is analysis. I'm not going to get into this. I, I'm not even a, a member. You have to be the highest member to do this. So I didn't review this but from reading it it if you have your own projections this is what what it'll do it, it just kind of takes your projections and then look compares it to the results and kind of gives you like how far off were they it kind of anal analyzes them and you can do that with the, the daily fantasy nerd projections or other um, projections and you can just kind of see how your, your projections compare to others and then you can tweak items to make them better so I mean it is a great feature but I'm just not gonna get into that and the last item is bankroll. Bankroll is pretty cool. So what you can do is you can upload your past history right from the sites, and it'll tell you like how you've done. Like I've uploaded some history here. I would just do uh, like FanDuel history, just for the uh, it looks like here for the last five years. And it you can, it'll tell you. Oh, I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. Cause see, I've got it defaulted here by six to twenty dollars. Say we got all contests. So I've uh, five hundred ninety contests. Average score, average winning score, um, win rate twenty seven percent. I've entry fee, so it's lost a uh, little bit of money. But this is over five years um, on this account. It tells you return return on investment, and then it even breaks you out here on fifty fifties. How do you do? on GPP single and multi-entry most I've played as multi-entry tournaments and I, I got a 11% profit on 
return on investment on the, on those. So you can go through this, see what you, you do your, um, your best on. So that's really all the features, but those are just some uh, great features. I wanted to show you the back, the back end, what you would get if you become a member. Uh, you, when you sign up, you get a seven day free trial, so you can go in and actually check all this out. And um, I just think it's a great tool, and it's a great for speed. I wouldn't always use it to just come in here, press build lineups without doing anything and run the lineups. I mean, you could win, but a lot of people are doing that too. But if you, when you combine this tool with great speed, with other projections, and with your own research, then uh, you, that's just a winning uh, combination there for you. So uh, that's uh, that's it on my review of the uh, the back end of Daily Fantasy Nerd. Thanks.